Hello there. Welcome back to a trigonometry video this time on the cosine rule for angles. Cosine rule is based on the idea that each angle of a triangle is really closely related to its opposite side. And the cosine rule for angles is used to find an angle uh, when we're given three lengths, all three lengths of all three sides. And so it's uh, this. Let's recap on the cosine rule for sides we saw in the last video. A squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. That was designed to find the missing uh, length of one of the sides there. And uh, just to show you here, I'm ambitiously trying to show you how we rearrange uh, the cosine rule for sides to get the cosine rule for angles. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Let me click on that. Okay, here we go. Cos A we're going to have out the front, and that is going to equal uh, B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. Give me a moment and I'll get a line happening here with my trusty tools up here. Here we go. Ah, and I've shown you there nicely, I'm quite happy with that, uh, shown you there that each part of the cosine rule for sides has been rearranged into uh, our cosine rule for angles. Notice out the front here we've got cos A. Now we had to remember to square root at some stage to find our side length there. Uh, to find an angle, remember, we're going to have to press shift at some stage. Shift cos has to be uh, in the back of our mind when we do this. But this is just an arrangement of sides on the right-hand side and cos A out the front. And we have to just be careful, we'll see in this video, which side we treat especially there because there's one side that's got a big minus in front of it when the other sides are adding and multiplying together. So let's see how that goes. So, on the cos A, the cosine rule for angles is down there. Cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Okay. So, now, I'm here to explain the bit about the special side that I was talking about. That A there is in a special position. It's the side that's opposite the angle theta. So, if this is the angle we're trying to find in the end. The side that's opposite that is the what we call the special angle. It's, in, uh, it's going to be put in a special spot into the formula and it's going to be the only side that's going to be treated with a minus out the front of it. So uh, that's what we call a special angle. It's the uh, special side, sorry. It's the side that's opposite the angle we're trying to find out. So here's an example here. Can you spot which one of the si three sides here we're going to spe treat specially? This 7 centimeters is just beside the theta. This 8 centimeters is just beside the theta. But this 9 centimeters is opposite the theta. It's the only one of the sides that's opposite the angle we're trying to find. So, if we find they're trying to find the theta to the nearest degree here, we're going to treat that 9 specially. It's the op side opposite the theta, as I said. And the side goes in a special spot up there where the minus is into the formula. It's, uh, I'm highlighting this because this is the probably the crucial bit of the whole um, substitution process, knowing which side to put where. And that's the one that's going to have the minus in front of it when I do the substitution. So we'll keep that ring around that 9. OK, cos theta in this case, A, the capital A represents just the missing angle. In this case, it's, we're going to call it theta. Now, 7 squared plus 8 squared. Now, it doesn't matter what order you put them in because they're only being added. Order doesn't matter when you add. But we do have an obligation to put that 9 in a special spot. So as I uh, forewarned you there, that 9 that's got the special circle around it is put in the special spot in the formula. Why? Because it's the only side that's opposite the angle we're trying to find. Over 2 lots of the 7 times the 8. So that 7 and the 8, the two sides either side there, um, they just get put into the formula in the other spots. And as long as we treat that special side separately, specially, we should be pretty right here. Okay, now as I said before, we've got a cos theta at the front. We don't want cos theta to be our final answer. We want theta to be our final answer. So to find uh, angles, missing angles, we have to press shift at some stage. So we press shift cos. And then we type in very carefully all the rest of the uh, of the right hand side there. 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 9 squared 
over 2 times 7 times 8. Now, it's probably pretty important at this stage to just uh, warn you that typing that into your calculator might not be all that straightforward. That whole top there needs to be worked out and the bottom needs to be worked out and there's a big big uh, fraction line there. So I would suggest possibly um, pressing rather than our fraction button I like to to use the divided by button and put a bracket around the top and the bottom just to make sure everything's separated. It might be a bit overkill but you've got to be careful how you put these things in. So um, I would do the top section in, in brackets um, and then it press my divided button and put the bottom section in brackets. That's just the way I make sure that things are put in the right spots there. And after we press that in carefully we'll press equals and we'll get 73 degrees and that's rounded off to the nearest degree. Okay, so just to uh, recap there, we picked one of the sides that we've given three sides and we had to find one of the angles. This is the, the side that we're treating very specially in this case because uh, it's the side that's opposite the angle we are trying to find out. So the other two sides just get substituted into the formula on this section here. And we have to remember to press shift cos to, because we're finding an angle. Okay, so this is the opposite, the side that's opposite the uh, the angle that we're trying to find is treated specially. It has a minus in front of it. Now, if you get a really small angle for theta, such as let's say you get theta equals naught degrees, uh, naught minutes, and 0.2 seconds, or something really tiny like that, something under one degree, then that's probably a sign that you have forgotten to press shift cos in your calculations. Whenever you're finding an angle you've got to press shift at some stage. Seeing this is the cosine rule it'll be shift cos every time and then we'll have to be careful how we enter things into our calculator. So that's uh, the cosine rule for finding angles. I hope that helps. Look over it another time if you wish and uh, we'll catch you next time. For any of your maths needs of course there's peterblakemaths.com and we'll see you next time for another video on trigonometry. Thanks a lot. See you later.